All right, it's time to find out what Prop 19's demise means for your highness. It's the loop. Joining me now via satellite to help us make sense of it all, retired judge James P. Gray, author of A Voter's Handbook, Effective Solutions to America's Problems. Yes, welcome Judge Gray, everybody. Judge Gray, thanks for joining us again in the loop. We appreciate it. Certainly welcome. It's nice to be with you. And I got to beg to differ. It's not the demise. It may be a postponement. Well, that's, that, that is true, and it's an important distinction to make, yet I'm still wondering how on earth it became postponed. I mean, it seemed that the arguments were, hey, look, California's in dire straits, the tax money's there, uh, war against the Mexican drug cartel, uh, members of key law enforcement were for it. It seemed like everything was stacked in, in marijuana's favor, plus the fact that Funyuns are ten times better on it. How, well, how on earth did this legalization fail? I, I understand. Basically, uh, the other side, and, and there were several groups of them, uh, came out with some things that scared people. It was done intentionally. They came out with some mistruths, uh, some really kind of picky reading, and there are ambiguities in anything. Uh, and uh, when it came down to it, it is change that some people, I guess, when it came time to pull in the lever, had some problem with the change. But uh, it, we really did quite well. And in fact, I, I'm convinced that we won the election and we did postpone the implementation. But uh, we legitimized the discussion, which is really all we need to do about this whole area, because what we're doing now cannot stand the, the light of day. Uh, it was a main, main stage discussion in sure. the state of California, main stage in the nation and internationally. It's just a question of time. But Judge Gray, with all due respect, some would say that it was a, a main stage failure. It was a, it was a, a main stage proof that, that you know, Californians, potentially this country, uh, aren't ready for this legislation. And I'm wondering, who exactly was against it? Who has interest in keeping it illegal? Well, there were some, some really straightforward ones. The beer industry, for example, donated $10,000 to the campaign against it, and they have obvious uh, uh, self in, selfish interests involved mm -hmm. with that. Uh, honestly, some of the uh, medical marijuana dispensary people donated money against it because they were concerned that they would lose their market share, and they were probably right. Uh, people act in their own economic self-interest. Uh, there was the uh, chamber of the state chamber of commerce, who has uh, backed a lot of uh, positions that that really are uh, not mainstream, and the rest, and they they're really the ones that who put out a whole bunch of disinformation. Mm -hmm. uh, but it it will take a little while. But I, I tell you, you know, in the next two years, and I think that the odds are overwhelming that there'll be another initiative on the ballot in 2012. Uh, people will look at the news differently now. They'll look at this bloodletting going on in Mexico, and it's not going to get better. It's coming over into the United States, and that will continue. They will look at these juvenile gangs that are enriching themselves uh, by the sale of illegal marijuana, such that they're using it as recruiting tools to bring more children into this whole lifestyle of drug usage and drug selling that I've seen in juvenile court a lot. Well, see, uh, Judge Gray, that, that's an interesting point, because a lot, a lot of the, uh, the opponents seem to say, what about the children, as opposed to, you know, using that as an argument. I mean, we've all seen the reefer madnesses of the world, but I didn't see any fear-mongering on that level here. What were they saying about the bill that, was, know, that was putting fear into the voters? People don't concentrate on the drug money, the illegal drug money. And I would say during the campaign that, you know, it's a nice side benefit to be able to tax it and bring in money to the government. Mm -hmm. But the bigger thing is to keep the juvenile gangs from enticing our children into this. And besides, today, and, and you can talk to kids as much as I can, it's easier for people under the age of 21 to get marijuana than it is alcohol, because the alcohol, at least they ask for ID and they regulate and control it. So people will begin to discuss this, and uh, that will not go away. Mm -hmm. And we're going to force the issue uh, in 2012. A lot of hypocrisy going on. For example, President Obama, and I read his two books, uh, would it have helped his career to have been put in jail for 30, 60, 90 days for his use of cocaine or marijuana? Oh, I'm or, sure the Republicans uh, wouldn't others. have brought that up when he was running. I'm sure they would have let that slide. But when this comes up again in, in two years, Judge Gray, what does the pro side need to do differently? Where do they need to focus their argument? I mean, they outspent, it was 3.8 million to 300,000, and yet they were still unable to push this through. So two years from now, what do they need to do? Well, we need to simplify. 
uh, we, this, this was a very long initiative because we were trying to close all the doors and uh, some of those doors really didn't need to be closed. So we need just to bring it much more simplified, probably on a statewide level to say that the laws prohibiting adults from using or smoking or possessing marijuana within certain circumstances are hereby repealed and allow people to the state to oversee some form of a umbrella system to regulate and control alcohol. Uh, that was the primary source of uh, opposition, even from chiefs of police in debates that I was involved with. They would say to me privately, as well as on camera, I don't have any problem with regulating and controlling mm -hmm. marijuana. I just don't like Prop 19 for this, that, and the other reason. Uh, well, so, so that's that's where we need to go. And well, we're we got going two to years to figure it out, and, and we thank you for the support, and we thank you for helping raise awareness of it. And hopefully, in 2012, 2012 we're having a much different discussion about this issue on our show. Stay tuned; it's going to yeah. happen. Judge James P. Gray, everybody, thank you for joining us. And